delivery numbers for the month of April are in for Neo, Xpeng, and Liotto. So we are going to somewhat compare these to each other and see how they all fared as well as try to estimate what Neo's Q2 delivery numbers will be compared to their 21,000 to 22,000 vehicle delivery guidance. All I ask in exchange for this video is that you make me one like button richer and ultimately one like button closer to being able to afford a 2020 McLaren 600 LT. Now that that is out of the way, let's get into it. Looking at the deliveries, this is coming to us from MarketWatch. This was posted at 7.57 a.m. It is titled, Neo deliveries more than double in April, but growth slows. Now, this, this April deliveries is not on the last earnings report, so this is new information. And it does say, as a subtitle, it says, Xping deliveries rise nearly fourfold. Lee Auto deliveries double, but growth also slow from last year. And this has a lot to do with the chip shortages and the factories being shut down. It's kind of delayed everything across the board. So... It says, Neo reported over the weekend April deliveries more, that more than doubled from a year ago, but growth slowed from the year five-fold jump to a record in March. China-based electric vehicle maker said on Saturday that it delivered 7,102 vehicles in April, up 125.1% from the previous same period last year. The deliveries consisted of 1,523 ES8s, the 6- and 7-seater premium SUV, 3,163 ES6 and the five-seater SUV and 2,416 EC6s, the five-seater coupe SUV. For March, Neo had reported deliveries growth of 373% to a monthly record of 7,257 vehicles, which boosted fourth quarter delivery growth to quarterly record of 423%. So ultimately in March, they did deliver more vehicles about 140 more vehicles than they just delivered in april but this is good and i do think this is why neo stock is up today because despite them being shut down for five days and having chip constraints and a lot of production issue well supply issues i should say um the fact that they can still almost pull the same numbers month over month than they did last month is very good if we do come to the portfolio, NEO is currently up 2.73%. On some pretty good volume, they were at a high of almost 4% up at 1035 for the day. So this is definitely positive, and investors did take this um, positively. Now, back to this article, we are going to take a look at Lee Auto and Xpeng's deliveries as well. But I do want to point out this guy, Mitsuno Analyst, uh, the K Rakish reiterated his buy rating on Neo, but raised his stock price target to $65 from $60, saying the company is expected to be a significant beneficiary from the planned Neo Park Industrial Complex. And I've made a video about this. I encourage you guys to check this out, going over exactly what is going on with the Neo Park and how many vehicles they are going to be able to produce. And it is over 1 million vehicles per year. So I do recommend you guys check that video out as well. But Xpeng said on Sunday it delivered 5,147 EVs in April, up 285% a year ago. Um... The company in March, the company delivered uh, 5,102 EVs. So pretty pretty similar compared to March, they still did deliver um, not 45 more vehicles in April than in March. Unlike Neo, they delivered about a hundred less than X that that in April than they did in March. Um, so that's I mean not a big thing to be concerned about it's such a minuscule number and then lee auto said it delivered 5539 vehicles in april up 111.3 percent a year ago that follows march deliveries of 4900 vehicles so lee auto definitely has had the biggest improvement month over month but obviously neo is the bigger company they are still delivering more vehicles and if these constraints weren't going on they would be delivering much more than the rest of these guys
Also, considering NEO is still even up 2.5% and the SPY is coming down, the NASDAQ is negative, and basically we are just bleeding out, especially in my portfolio. The only thing is up that is Abivi and NEO and Assertio and Coin. But for the most part, everything is down about 2 to 4%. And it's specifically the EVs. CCIV is currently down 4.31%. Even Tesla is down. 2.3 percent so neo does seem to be somewhat eating everybody else's lunch as far as evs are concerned most definitely being up two and a half percent is quite phenomenal now let's try to take a look and see if we can try to estimate what their delivery numbers could be for next quarter and see if they are right in line with their guidance that they have set forth themselves 21,000 to 22,000 vehicles or if this could be much higher and they just decided to guide lower just to be on the safe side and maybe cause some momentum if they beat a lot to the upside. Neo did guy for 21 to 22,000 vehicles delivered in Q2. Now, we know that they delivered 7,102 vehicles in April. So if they keep up this same exact trajectory, they will beat their lower end estimate. They should be around 21,300 and some vehicles. But it, even if they can produce a couple hundred extra more or even 500 more in May and June, then they will exceed their 22,000 vehicle forecast that they have set forth as guidance and that will definitely be a very positive for the stock but i do estimate it could be somewhere in between the 21,500 and the 22,500 i do think they will beat their 22,000 estimate but i don't think it'll be by thousands or a large amount i think it'll be around 22,500 vehicles that is going to be my guidance estimate i do think they will be able to slightly improve their cons their supply constraints as far as the chip shortage just by a little bit i, I don't think it's going away by any means necessarily Terry, but even if they can produce a couple extra vehicles per day that goes a long way as to your total vehicle deliveries that is neo's delivery numbers for the month of april and lee autos and x -Pang. so if you guys got anything useful out of the video make sure to hit that like button and if you stayed to the end of the video make sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell i am gonna get out of here i will see you guys later take care